Hey there, I'm Jeff. And I'm Steve. And we're students at MIT. Today we're going to be showing you some really cool things you can do with photography and science at home. Things like this. Between question and answer, hunch and knowledge, fantasy and physics, there lies the experiment. Wouldn't it be great if we could drive straight up to space? It would only take an hour. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the shape of sound. This might look like an ordinary kettle, but it's a magic kettle. Here we're going to demonstrate the effect fluid density has on voice. It will pour any color that I ask it to. Pink. If positioned correctly and spun at a very specific speed, the subject will feel an acceleration at their feet identical to that of gravity. Energy is all around us, but it can be tricky to measure. Gravity pulls every object to the ground at the same acceleration, no matter the size, mass, or consistency. Blue. In order for the shuttle to get out of the atmosphere and away from Earth's gravity field, they have to travel at 3,500 miles per hour. Because the direction is changing, this means we have an acceleration. Uh, this is one of Newton's laws. Named for Sir Isaac Newton, inventor of calculus and flexibility. Then, acids, bases, and then those that are neutral. It would take over eight months to get to Mars, and a trip to Pluto would last about nine and a half years. So how can we figure out how much energy is stored in this hay bale that we're feeding them? Let's do some math. It's warm. Whoa. So ghosts are like little machines powered by slowly burning hay fires in their bellies. Exactly. There are many uses for long exposure photography, both scientific and artistic. Don't believe me? Try this at home. Green. No, no, no. I mean yellow. Wow, did you see that? Come on, Jane. Come on, Monique. Let's go. To Boston. I think we had enough traveling for today. Yeah, I think so, too. Let's head home. Well, that's the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It's out there. And perhaps we'll find it in our next experiment.